it's just as simple as that. Uh, so let's switch back to logo view. Um, we're going to set up a couple of things in here, a couple of files, and then we're going to um, go into Adobe Illustrator and we're going to kind of map out uh, how we're going to do the, uh, the layout here. Um, and I'll explain that in a minute. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say new or file new, which is control N. And you'll get this uh, new document uh, dialog box here. Um, we're going to use uh, HTML. And uh, for the layout, we're going to choose none. Dreamweaver has a bunch of uh, pre-built templates here, and you can kind of see what they look like over here on the right. Uh, these are good if you want to learn, uh, but I you know, definitely recommend doing things on your own. Um, so let's go ahead and say create. And we're going to get a blank document uh, that's already set up with everything we need, uh, declaring the document type and, and uh, standards and all that. Um, the first thing we're going to do is change the title of the document. Um, and uh, if you don't know what this is, you can refer back to our um, tutorial on basic HTML tags. Um, but uh, this is uh, this is going to be the title of our site, which shows up in the uh, the uh, header of the window. Um, the next thing we're going to do, which is very important and we should do quite often, is we're going to save this file. So we can do Control S or go up to File, um, Save. And we're going to name this file index.html. And this is going to be the first page that um, viewers will see when they come to our website. Um, I'd say the majority of servers will be looking for this index file, whether it be index.html, htm, or php, asp, etc. Um, there are ways to change um, what your uh, first document's going to be, but uh, you might as well can just go with index. Um, so we're going to save this and then we're going to make a new document again. So control N or file new. And we're going to choose CSS this time. And we're going to say create. And this is going to open up a new CSS document. Um, in the previous tutorials, we've done our CSS. Uh, we've Im embedded it in the uh, HTML file uh, up in the head here within style tags. Uh, we're going to do an, um, a linked CSS or an external CSS document for this tutorial. Um, this just declares what character set we're using and just a simple comment to tell us what kind of document it is. Um, we're going to go ahead and save it. And we'll just call it uh, default. You can name your CSS document really whatever you want. Um, doesn't really matter. Uh, default is a pretty common name. Uh, a lot of uh, CSS templates, the free ones you'll find at like freecsstemplates.com or .org, I can't remember which one it is. Um, I believe that's generally what they call it. Uh, so let's go ahead and save this. What we're going to do is we're going to set up um, a couple just general rules. You don't need to do this, um, but I've kind of gotten the habit of doing it. Uh, in fact, I just save a um, blank or a document with these these basic rules set up so that I can use them on all my websites. Uh, it's I think it's a nice um, habit to get into. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of set up rules for our um, general HTML tags. Um, no classes or IDs or anything at this moment. So the first thing we're going to do is set up our body. And we're just going to 
give herself uh, a line here. Um, the next thing we can do is let's do our headers, or our headings, that is. Um, and I didn't explain this in our previous tutorials on CSS. Um, all we're doing here is we're saying um, that this rule is going to apply to the h1 tag, the h2 tag, h3, h4, h5, and h6. Um, so for instance, if we wanted all the headings to have one um, font uh, family, um, then we would declare it here. Uh, I don't generally use this, but you know, might as well have it here just in case. Next we're going to do the um, paragraph tag. And after that, we will do links. Um, and by doing the A, we're going to be, um, this would be defining a rule for links in all state. Um, the hover state, the active state, the visited state. This will be declaring for every state. Um, and then let's go ahead and create another rule for the hover state of the link. Let's also do the horizontal rule. And that should be good for now. Um, what I'd like to do now is do a little bit of commenting. And, uh, you know, we don't necessarily need this if this was all we're going to do, but, you know, this document's going to get fairly large and we're going to get into defining classes and, and such and um, kind of defining the different areas of the document that we're working in is not a bad idea at all. Um, you can comment however you want. Uh, sometimes people will get a little creative with the comments maybe putting um, kind of a wrap around them something like that it's fancy um, not necessary but you know why not so let's go ahead and save and we're gonna come back to our index document um, very rarely will I do uh, not hand code something but uh, I've always found this is very simple um, for embedding or uh, linking the CSS document is just give yourself a, a, a line break after um, the title in the head and just go over here to your file panel files panel and click and drag on the default CSS document and drop it in here it's gonna go ahead and set up everything you need to do, all the attributes you need, um, and link the file. And you're dragging it into the code view, do not drag it into here, into the preview. Um, this preview window is really just to show you um, the result of what you're doing in the body here, um, which at this point we don't have anything. So let's go ahead and save. Um, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to flip over to the browser here and we're going to look um, pull up our our root directory here and here it is this is a, a subdomain that I've set up to take us straight to our root um, if you were building this for a client or something of course you you know it'd be www dot you know whatever domain name dot com um, or wherever you're gonna build the test site um, let's flip back to Dreamweaver and we're gonna go ahead and upload these to the server. Um, when moving files back and forth from a server and your local machine, um, the common term is git and put. Um, so if I were to upload 
um, my documents and folder here to the server I would be putting them to the server um, so what we can do is we can click um, on the index HTML here and hold down shift to select all three and right click and choose put and we're gonna get a, a dialog box here that's gonna ask if we want to include any dependent files um, we don't need to do that now but what this would do is if we just wanted to put the index.html by itself and we chose yes it's gonna come in and it's also going to upload the default CSS so this is a good uh, tool to have when needed but in this case we're gonna say no and what that did was it put our index our default CSS and our images folder and the arrow icon that was in the images folder um, so now if we come over here to our um, browser here and refresh the page you're gonna see our index document which is empty you see full site as the title and that's you know, that's good so flip over to Dreamweaver and make sure everything's saved and now we're going to go into Adobe Illustrator